Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical engineer and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 4 Episode 15 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. フランスワの地理教室でございます。船でこの反対側の海へ渡ろうとしたらものすごく大変だとは思いませんか？やべえな、それは。そこで人類は二十世紀初頭、大陸のこの細いところをちょんぎって海同士を水路でつないでしまい
容赦な<笑>こんな方と躊躇なくそういうことできそうなのは氷河ちゃんだけだししかし妙だこんなにもちゃんとしているゼム君がなぜわざわざ自分を危険にさらすことをまるで最高の OK I take back what I just said I doubt Zeno mechanically set up any of those bikes for failure because he wouldn't know which bike he would be on and dude wants to stay alive. He's gotta be communicating with Stanley somehow. It was just how good of a sniper Stanley is. I'm sure he got a good look at Zeno from the back of that bike. He just have no clue how they're gonna communicate anything to each other because I mean, okay, Zeno can maybe use his manicured hands to indicate something or blink for Morse code, or maybe he just wanted Stanley to know which bike he was on so it's easier to, for a rescue mission. No spoilers in the comments, please, but let me know if I'm at least kind of close. The smoke screen was genius because the bullets are gonna move much faster than those bikes can, and moving targets are much harder to hit, let alone when you can't even see them. This goes back to the initial point is how is Stanley gonna see Zeno in the smoke screen? It has to be the fastest communication ever. Maybe they have some secret code between them, but I, I don't know. Zeno <laughs> nara nokotsu, ore ra ni tegakari no jouhou o donna jyotai daro to na, so yu otoko da. モール信号じゃんまばたきの眠りな<笑> All right. They've used Morse code a couple of times throughout the show. I, I don't know Morse code, but I am wondering if anyone in the comment section does. Just from Zeno's blinking, were you able to get a message from that? I can't verify the accuracy of that. It's just with a very limited time to communicate anything. You know what? Spoil this for me in the comments, please, because I, I really want to know. Did he just specify a direction? Did Zeno tell Stanley southeast or something else? So a blink is a dot, and when you close your eyes longer, it's a dash, and wouldn't that dust get in his eye to maybe mess up the mess? I don't know. There's so many things that can go wrong here. It couldn't have been a long message. There's just so limited on time. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't Zeno sabotaging Senku's technology, it was the other way around. He put the Uno reverse car to science. They put sugar in the gas tank? Senku's right, it will run until the actual fuel is used up and the sugar is gonna coagulate everything around it rubber style and then just jam the engine. This episode is full of so many callbacks, I love it. These guys are playing radar battleship is just so impressive. Even from miles away, the suspense is heightened to a crazy degree. During World War I, this scientist was originally placed as a radio operator, but his specialist knowledge led to him being moved to the research duties on sound ranging. Using sounds of gunfire to pinpoint an enemy's location on the battlefield for artillery strikes. In 1918, he met with Fritz Hopper in Berlin and discussed how an ionic compound is formed when a metal reacts with a halogen, now called the Born Hopper cycle. In 1921, he returned to the University of Göttingen and began his work in an undiscovered theoretical field of physics called quantum mechanics. Beyond his own research, he awarded PhDs in physics to his lab assistants and students such as Robert Oppenheimer, Enrico Fermi, Werner Heisenberg, Edward Teller, and Wolfgang Pauli. In 1926, Einstein wrote to him his iconic letter stating, Quantum mechanics is certainly imposing, but an inner voice tells me that it is not yet the real thing. The theory says a lot, but it does not bring us any closer to the secret of the old one. I, at any rate, am convinced that he is not playing at dice. This quotation is often paraphrased as, God does not play dice. In 1928, Einstein nominated this man for the Nobel Prize in Physics, and in 1954, he won it with Walter Both for his fundamental research in quantum mechanics, especially in the statistical interpretation of the wave function. His name is Max Born. 